Okay. All right. So, hey, this is the Just Steph Show. Everybody has two lives. The second one begins when you realize you only have one. We are second lifers, empty nesters, newly single, and those starting over age three, your healthy, happy, hip years are just beginning. And I am so, I'm so happy because I haven't uh, done the Just Steph rules of dating in so long. And, and, you know, this is a subject that's near and dear to my heart because I'm single. So I love this, and um, I'm so happy that Julie is here. This is Julie Spira. She is everywhere. She is this country's ex top number one expert, the dating guru for online dating and digital dating. She's a uh, dating coach, and, and she's got it all together. So Julie, welcome. Hi, Steph. Happy to be here. How's everybody managing during this uh, challenging time? You know, I, I'm, I'm hearing as, a, as an intuitive coach, I'm hearing, you know, a lot of people that are, you know, upset with everything that's going on. They're trying to get organized and, uh, you know, not to mention trying to stay connected with people that they love, you know, that they love or, you know, are their friends and then they're not able to do so. So I wanted to ask you before we get started about the dating, how are you doing? What are you doing for your self-care? Um, I'm, you know, I've really changed up my patterns a lot, Steph, and, and maybe this will help other people as well. I'm sort of very like the inner, you know, the everybody, what is it, the, the bunny rabbit, the energizer bunny rabbit. Right. I work all the time. I have a lot of clients. And then all of a sudden, everyone thing came to a complete halt and people didn't think they could date anymore. So everybody who wanted to start coaching said, well, if I can't meet anybody, what do I need a dating coach for? So I looked at that and went, oh my gosh, everything came to a complete halt. And maybe that halt was like 48 hours. And then the floodgates opened up. And I think the most popular places for people to be um, are grocery stores, but quickly in and out if you can get in and dating apps, which are available to 24 hours a day. And people are chatting for longer periods of time. So suddenly I've become really busy, a lot of media interviews and a lot of new clients who are saying, what do I do? I just met someone and, um, and now I can't see them. So for me, a couple of things that I did differently to manage this pace, I mean, it feels like Valentine's Day, dating Sunday on steroids. What, right. what I've done is, is I've never really been able to meditate before. I've tried, I've tried so many times and twice, two different people sent me the same link for this Oprah Winfrey and Deepak Chopra 21 day meditation program. It's free by the way, just Google search and do it. And I started doing this in the morning and I actually repeated it at night after day three. And there was such a shift in, in my life and in my work life. And all of a sudden, you know, as I said, I got very busy with work. I got very creative, but I also felt a sense of calmness and serenity right. during right. such a such a challenging time. Plus, right. walking, I walk right. six, right. Feet of, six feet of a of separation, but I do walk, um, and I make sure to walk to pretty places, like look at boats. Right. And until the point that they shut down my walk, I will continue walking. Absolutely. I agree The working out and exercising and doing something like that is important. I meditate every day as well. So I, and a, a lot of the um, entrepreneurs and other business people that I've been speaking with online in here, you know, in this, uh, on this platform have been saying the same thing, doing the meditation is very important. So it's, it's kind of hard to slow that brain down, but now that you have the quiet, it works, right? It's so fabulous. So I recommend it to everyone. Again, it's free and it's really dealing with um, how to have hope, how to have hope in an uncertain time. And so it's, if you can get somebody like me who never shuts down <laughs> to be able to shut down twice a day, I'm telling you, my, that's my secret. Right. That's awesome. And can you just give us a little visual on LA? Like what's going on? You know, people are all over the place, but a lot of my peeps are here in Boston. You know, the situation is very fluid, as everyone knows. It changes by the hour. So we're, we, you know, so we've all had to adjust. And every day is a whole new set of rules. Like if you go to a grocery store, you'll see tape on the floor, or you'll see tape where people are lined up outside because they're only allowing a certain amount of people in. Mm -hmm. Just recently, within the last few days, and I live near the beach, they closed the beaches down, and that was a place for people to have serenity, to be able to walk. 
um, see the water, put your toes in the sand. Mm -hmm. Well, now there will be a helicopter flying over saying, get off the beach. Right. So okay. some of the things that people were doing have shifted and our lives have really all shifted online where people I know are doing online um, Pilates classes, right. you know, online yoga classes, the meditation, like we talked about earlier, but people are coming up with creative ways to stay in touch because more than ever, we need to be connected. Right. And, uh, and, and part of that connection is with your friends, with your family and trying to create, you know, a love bond. I mean, I have a Zoom call three days a week with my girlfriends who we usually lunch together. We call them ladies who Zoom instead of ladies who lunch. And we all talk about like, how did you do washing your hair for the first time? I mean, it's <laughs> I, know, like that. I know the, the hair washing and the nails is the problem. It's just, <laughs> so I'm totally with you on that. So let's, let's switch it over to the dating because um, I know that there are a lot of single people out there that, you know, they, they're either already on their, the apps or they're just maybe started seeing, you know, or talking to somebody, or maybe they even started dating somebody and it's really pretty new. What, what do you, what are your suggestions? Well, it's interesting because there are, they are in all different categories. And, you know, some of the suggestions that have worked that, that I recommend, and they're in an article that I just posted today. It's on my Twitter called nine ways to keep your relationship alive while social distancing. And, you know, because people are spending a lot of time on zoom calls or maybe doing FaceTime calls, you know, the easiest and most fun thing to do is to schedule a happy hour date with your date. And, and you can do that again on your video platform that you like the most, that you're the most comfortable right. with, whether, you know, whether it's FaceTime, whether it's in-app dating. And, and by doing that, you know, there's this new drink that's the hot drink, which basically everybody has their own version of called the Quarantini. So set up a happy hour date <laughs> And say, I'll bring my quarantini, you bring yours, you can pick, compare ingredients. I mean, my quarantini is really literally, it looks like a glass of champagne, but it's sparkling water with one of those fizzy air bonds in it, which is, helps you with your immunity. Right. And my quarantini drink, you know, has no alcohol in it because I'm trying to make sure that my immune system is, stays very healthy and, and okay. boosted. And so those are fun. And then you can actually expand that into double dates and bring other people into it as well. So, uh, you know, how would you, I mean, what would you say not to do? I mean, because I think that people can get pretty lonely right now and you might say, oh, well, all right, let's just not worry about it. I mean, what would you, and just come over <laughs> or let's you know, do something. What would you say? You know, isolating and being quarantined and whatever you're doing to stay healthy, it can, it can be a lonely existence, but you, you can actually fill your day with so many things that are enriching that you can find online. For instance, some of the date ideas that I recommend for singles, and we do video dates and I coach them how to get ready for their video date with a dress rehearsal where they're having a date with me <laughs> before they go on their first date, is like you can go to a museum. I mean, anywhere around the world without a passport, you're not going to an airport, you can't. And um, you, can, you can stream, you can you know, do a virtual tour of anything from the Louvre in Paris, to the Guggenheim in New York or to any museums in your local city. So I find that, you know, going, doing that, whether you're doing it for yourself because you just want to be enriched or you want to do it on a date, those are some fun things that I have recommended. I love that idea. Just really being creative and, uh, and, and using your imagination because we've have, we're all having to do that for our own lives anyway. Why not segue it into the whole dating world? And uh, what would you say, uh, to people who have just maybe started going, you started dating, like going out on dates with people. Do you think they should stay connected with, with everybody on the, the Tinder? You know how it's hard to do that with you're managing several people you're talking to, or um, how would you say people should manage all of that? Because it's a lot to try and have all those virtual dates or virtual, you know, all of, you know, being connected. It's very interesting, Steph. It's like I've done a reverse, um, a reverse strategy to uh, my business. Like when I started Cyber Dating Expert or I started coaching singles over 25 years ago, you know, first they were hanging out in chat rooms like people are doing now. And then it was like, okay, we've got to get you offline and stop being a pen pal. And we've got to get you to meet in person. And the big push was to take your relationship from um, online, offline as soon as possible before it fades. Right. Now it's 
stay online, have a digital pen pal. Pen pals are really sexy right now. And I can tell you that, you know, to my surprise and, and, um, and to many others, that three people that I've been working with actually, um, three people are actually in committed relationships. Once one had met before, um, had one or two dates, and the other two had only met through dating apps uh, and never have never met in person. One was suggested to go on a beach walk um, six feet apart, and um, and she said she didn't feel that comfortable. So right. so they go on virtual beach walks and they and they you know play games and they answer questions and do fun things. And I think that having a ritual is really important. And so if you have like, it's like you have accountability partners and in, in maybe work, but if you can have someone that you check in with every morning, how are you? How'd you sleep last night? Did you wake up at 2 a.m. like I did? Um, those are the kinds of conversations that are happening every morning. And then people can schedule a video date for later in the day if they like. And then, you know, ditch the sweats and put on your lipstick. I mean, you're on a date. <laughs> this is well, the you most know you're going to get. <laughs> You know, that, that's funny because that's what I was thinking. I'm like, people are going to have to put some makeup on a little bit and just do their hair because all of us are, are in ponytails and sweats. So I, I, that's something we need to do. But I think that helps with feeling good, right? It does. I mean, if you can create a ritual and you get up every day and maybe you read your email and maybe you meditate and then you take your shower and you do your hair, even if you're going nowhere, if you put on your makeup, and you know you're going to have a video date later in the day, or you're going to do a speed dating video chat, um, which are becoming very popular. Put on your makeup. And if you do end up going out, you want to look and feel your best, even if you're seeing no one. I love that. That's awesome. Because I know that I feel better when I'm getting dressed and, and uh, you know, whether it's working or just, you know, working with clients, talking on my show, or even just you know, writing. So yes, it's, it, that's a great, um, that's great advice. Now, one thing I want to talk about is this is going to end where this is going to be over. We're going to be moving in back where we can be around people. How do we get people in the dating space to move from only being online or texting or video chats to actually going out and not letting that be the, the norm? Well, I think people are going to be very excited when they can have an opportunity to uh, to meet these people that they've been chatting with in person. I mean, what's going on right now is a bunch of digital foreplay. And whether it's sexual or not sexual, it's digital foreplay. And there comes a point in time when people are chatting every day that they start to talk about where do you want to go when we meet for the first time? And whether that is April or May or June, you know, it's nice to sort of have something to look forward to. And, and that's why, you know, you can talk about your favorite restaurants. You can talk about uh, the meals you might want to cook for each other. You can cook for each other um, while you're doing a virtual date, but it'd certainly be a lot more fun if you can do it together in the same kitchen. Absolutely. So, uh, I, I mean, I think we've pretty much wrapped it up. Let's tell people how they can get in touch with you or how they can find you because you just have amazing information. I love your, your newsletter that I get. Um, almost every week. And it's just, it, you know, I love to read it. I love to re read the articles. They're very interesting. And I think it appeals to all ages of daters. So uh, how can people find you? Well, people can find me at cyberdatingexpert.com. I'd love to connect with you on Instagram and Twitter at Julie Spira. Um, we have this really, um, and the weekly flirt that Steph reads is called, it's, if you go to cyberdatingexpert.com slash flirt, you can sign up for the free weekly flirt. It's brand new dating advice delivered to your inbox every week. But if you're interested in going on these faux dates, I'm telling you, these mock dates that I'm going on with people, I'm picking out their clothes. I've got a list of questions that they can ask and answer and a list of questions that they shouldn't be asking and answering. Um, I'm prepping people for their dates. And for 20 minutes, you have a date with me before you have your big date with this crush you have. And